welcome to TNT Spices. Today, we are going to make ourselves some barbecue chicken thighs. Every day I see my chicken stare at me. We got ourselves two big family packs of chicken thighs. We're going to get these prepped up. To begin prepping our chicken thighs, we're going to de-skin these thighs. We are going to lay the chicken skin out flat. We are going to take our knife. We're simply going to scrape along inside portion of the skin. I want to give you a close up as to exactly how much we are cleaning this skin off. If you take a look, it is almost 100% translucent underneath. This here is what the regular skin looks like. We are literally scraping every part of this off to make it so that this is basically see-through. That's how clean we are getting that skin before applying it back onto the chicken thighs. Next, we're going to take our chicken thigh itself. And we're going to measure it out roughly with the piece of skin that we have. This is a fairly straight edge, and we're going to take this, we're going to take a nice straight edge here, and cut straight down. Now, with what we have left, we are going to take our chicken skin, lay it back over top of our chicken thigh. Now, as you're going along and removing these skins from the chickens, some of your thighs may be a bit misshapen. You're so beautiful in my eyes. Now, we want to make sure these are all cleaned up nice and neat. So like in the instance of this one, you can see how it's a bit misshapen. We're going to just simply take our knife, cut off the fat that's on here, and that excess meat. Now, we're going to put all that excess meat to the side. We're not going to let that go to waste. This way we can make sure that all of our chicken thighs are nicely shaped and equal. We are going to season each of these chicken thighs. We're going to use a combination of three different rubs. We are going to use our SPG seasoning. Then I'm going to use some of our Louis Louis seasoning. And finally, I'm going to apply some of our blueberry black garlic rub. Berries, berries, berries. We're going to put a nice coating on both sides of these chicken thighs of all three of these rubs. Then we're going to put our skins back over top and put them back in our casserole tray. And we're going to let them sit in the refrigerator for about a half hour to an hour to let that flavor absorb into the meat. I've already put the skins back on all of these. It's very simple. We just grab the skin, we stretch it back out, smooth it out, and that's it. With our chicken in the refrigerator, I mean with those dry rubs, we are going to put together a braising liquid that we are going to cook these chicken thighs in. In this bowl, I have a whole head of garlic that I separated and peeled into individual cloves. Next, I am going to take one cup of barbecue sauce. Now, pick your favorite type of barbecue sauce, whatever that may be. After one cup of barbecue sauce, I am going to take six tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We gotta use this one just shush, shush, shush. Along with the Worcestershire sauce, we are going to add a quarter cup, and I'm going to use our black and blue espresso hot sauce. <laughs> This will pair 
perfectly with the seasonings that we have going on with the blueberry black garlic rub and the pineapple Louie Louie rub. Now, our final ingredient that we're going to add to this is going to be a full bottle of beer. I have a yingling. We're going to simply stir this up and this combination of ingredients is going to be what our chicken, as I said, will braise in. We're going to whip ourselves up a barbecue glaze that we are going to brush over top of our chicken thighs while they're cooking on the grill. Now to make this glaze, what I have inside of my bowl, I take, took two tablespoons of brown sugar, I took two cloves of garlic and minced them up real fine. I took two tablespoons of our sriracha hot sauce. Next, I have a quarter cup of jelly. Now you can use whichever jelly you prefer. This for us is a pineapple jalapeno jelly that I've chosen to use. Now we're also going to take a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. We are going to simply mix this up real well. And this is going to add a ton of flavor to these chicken thighs. We have allowed our chicken to sit in the refrigerator for a little over an hour. Now we are going to take the braising liquids that we stirred up and we are going to simply take them and pour this directly over top of our chickens. Then we're going to carry this out to our smoker. We have brought our chicken out to the smoker. We have the smoker set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We are going to let this sit in the braising liquid and cook. It has been 30 to 45 minutes that we've had these out on the grill. We are now going to simply take this casserole dish. I'm going to sit it over the side. We're going to take these chicken thighs out of this braising liquid one by one. We're going to sit them directly onto the grill now. We have all the thighs placed back onto the grill. We are going to take our glaze that we made. We're going to give these a light glaze. After glazing every one of them, we're going to close this up. We're going to let this continue to cook until these reach an internal temperature of around 175 degrees. But in the process, every 15 minutes, we're going to come back out and we're going to recoat these with the glaze. 15 minutes have passed by and we're going to reglaze these. Now, one step that I did forget to mention is not only am I glazing, but I am also applying another light coat of our blueberry black garlic rub and our Louis Louis seasoning onto each one of these as well every 15 minutes. All right, our chicken has finally reached temperature and we have brought these in. These are going to be absolutely juicy, tender, delicious, and full of flavor. We thank everybody for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, to each and every one of you, God bless. Thank you, everybody.